last song of the night because we had 11 o'clock. Yes, sir. Check the room. You want to check this in? Here we go. Right Hot damn. Hot damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, this is for my boy Keith. <coughs> Call hot damn. Hot, 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 hot. Cooking up in the beat kitchen, yeah, that's me. Meet the culinary rapper, I'm Chef the MC. When I was young, I made bread. Call me whole grain. Saturday morning, school you pebbles, and I was so trained. The fools on my school are redneck and partying, but not me. Preppy in my turtleneck and cardigan. I really dance to the beat of a different drum. Heavy D, Cool J, and KRS1. I bell hate and shut corn on the homestead. My cornrows were in the field, not on my head. Where dear John letters harvest blind tears. I moved to the city, cause I wouldn't drive a John Deere. But I stayed focused like four. Captain Kirk couldn't phase me. Never chase the bag, I let the bag chase me. No joke like a lie. The God rock him. Because I'm church with these scriptures when I rock him. Come on. Today that was yes, my boy sir. Keith. We're hot damn. That definitely gave me some like old school vibes. Nah, felt sure. like I could walk down the street with the boombox on my ear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I fuck with it though. You know his rhymes are crazy. He had some like crazy little metaphors in there too, like uh some um. Love the hook, way catchy. Yeah, the, the hook was definitely catchy. Hot damn, <laughs> chef with the mic in his hand. <laughs> yeah, like it was definitely catchy. Um. He had one line in there that stuck out to me. It was, he said, Sudafed, but it was like, take me to court and I'll sue the feds. But before that, he had a line about being sick. And, you know, Sudafed is like something that you take when you're sick. Mm -hmm. So it was like actually pretty fucking dope. The play on words. Like, yeah, like, it, yeah, it was, it was definitely some nice play. It was a whole bunch of nice, like, play on words in there. Mm -hmm. He definitely showed, like, he's a fan of old school hip hop when he mentioned, like, KRS One, LL Cool J. Biggie and shit like that, which a lot of people are fans of that type of, you know what I'm saying? I still listen to them too, but, so, yeah, you it definitely gave me old school five. What you think about production-wise, though? Production-wise, it was clean. I definitely, it was good. It was good. It gave me an interesting stereo field on the goddamn, on the hook. <laughs> yeah, I, it, yeah. was, it was very stereo. You know, it definitely it sounded like it was some stereo, like, 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 like you was listening to it on the radio or something mm -hmm. on a Saturday on the block or something, like, for the first time. Mm -hmm. It definitely did. Yeah, 
Yeah, D Lo said that caught his ear too. The whole pseudo fit. Yeah, that 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 bar was crazy. Like it definitely yeah. caught my ear. Like it's still like I was catching a lot of them, but it was like that one's like, okay, that was nice. And then it's like how he broke it down to where you could understood he said pseudo fit. Mm. So it was like yeah, like that was that was cool. I like that. And then the chef with the mic in his hand, like <laughs> my boy was cooking on that jam, boy. He said he said then he said the fried chicken and yams. So yeah, he asked me and him actually had a conversation not too long ago. He actually did used to live down here in Georgia. Uh, around the same area I live at, so you know what I'm saying. Shout out to my boy Keith. Thank you for sending in the track. Thank you to all the artists tonight that's been sending in the yes, tracks. Sir. Make sure you tap in on Saturday. Please tap in on Saturday if you're still.